Good morning, folks. Today we've got major news to deliver, and of course, a very large earthquake and geomagnetic storm are stealing the thunder from that announcement. We'll begin with our star where the departing and incoming plasma filaments are standing firm. I do see the first hints of destabilization this morning, however, so eyes open for heliospheric disruptions today. Very possible one or all of those will be gone by tonight. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com. Check out the last day on our star. Only noteworthy feature is the surface surge destroying the southernmost aspect of the coronal hole. No eruptions or solar flares, and you can see that here as well. We are flatlined. The real story, however, is indeed the coronal hole system. It's southern fields, so we expected stronger geomagnetic effects and larger earthquakes, one thing at a time. Solar wind shockwave followed by speedy particles impacted yesterday, and if you were following us on Twitter, geomagnetic alert was issued. Within minutes, the storms began and they peaked out at level 2 globally, Karuna showing a level 3 storm. And yes, folks, that's the level where the disruptions begin. Electrical fires, substation failures, transformer surges, radar outages causing airplane groundings. It was a 5x increase in such reports over the last day. But that's not all. The powerful southern fields indeed kept our earthquake uptick going. Those three six-pointers and four volcano eruptions we've seen in the last few days are now capped off with a magnitude 7.2 that struck Vanuatu just two hours ago. Hopefully the southern fields are getting out of here soon. We're coming to the weather, where we're starting with a look at the North Pacific Earth Spot group south of Alaska. We're going to come through the radar first to see how the eastern convergence holds the strongest storms. Then we pull the temperature overlay, and it becomes easy to see how the wind drive of the Earth Spot not only determines the precipitation times, but the short-term temperature swings as well. Heat in the east, then storms, then cold out west with the lows. But it's the opposite wind drive doing the same thing over in the Atlantic where it's high pressure this time driving the opposite direction to bring heat on the west side and cold to the east getting down to Africa. High pressure node reinforced by the lows to the north, pulling the heat on one side, pushing the cold on the other with the only difference being no storms in the middle when it's a high pressure earth spot. Let's shift slightly to the Mediterranean where a North African earth spot is yanking hard on its eastern side pulling sand and dust up in lieu of precipitable water. That's the dust condition currently affecting Europe. Could make from pretty sunsets and itchy eyes. Last weather stories in Bangladesh where a strong low drove its convergence right over land there. Hailstorms have ruined hundreds of homes with thousands more damaged. Rough situation there. Yesterday, I posted this to Facebook without annotations and asked if people knew what it was. It is the solar polar magnetic field data, the curves, with the dates of the most important earthquakes as the spikes. This is not complicated, it is as simple as it looks. Extreme magnetism and sometimes magnetic reversal of our star's polar fields trigger the largest earthquakes and our previous models have now been confirmed. If you are new around here, you might not have ever clicked that little link on Space Weather News Above the Sun animation. It will take you to our research page for earthquakes and solar fields. Click the image to read our latest release and update to previous studies with the data confirming their veracity. If you need the background information, just scroll past that newest release to the two listed below, our foundational papers from last year. Observations were confirmed with statistics and now confirmed by further observation. That's at spaceweathernews.com SPF. Over at suspiciousobservers.org, we of course have that new Fly on the Wall podcast uploaded for you guys yesterday. Don't miss that if you can. We've got some shots of our star to close. It's 425 a.m. in the southwest desert. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh,